ओके सो बेस्ट नेक बैंड विथ ए एन सी और एक्टिव नॉइज कैंसिलेशन नाउ देर टू पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो नेक बैंड एंड ए एन सी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद नेक बैंड फर्स्ट नाउ नेक बैंड इज समथिंग दैट यू वेयर ओवर योर नेक ऑल द टाइम सो पीपल हु आर कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन नेक बैंड और टी डब्ल्यू एस वेल देर अपर्स टू इच वन ऑफ दैम एंड आई वोट गो अबाउट डिटेल्स अबाउट द टी डब्ल्यू एस हेयर बट वन थिंग दैट आई लाइक अबाउट नेक बैंड इज दैट इट्स टीज ऑन योर नेक ऑल द टाइम सो इफ यूर ट्रैवलिंग और मूविंग अराउंड द हाउस the neck band stays there and if you need it you just put it in your ears the twc on the other hand has other perks such as there's no wire resting on your shoulder and it has a good battery backup overall but then again you do have to carry a case all the time okay so now that you have decided to go with a neck band the next question comes whether anc or not and well anc or active noise cancellation is useful when you want a clear audio without raising the volume level too high so a quick recap there are two form of noise cancellation active and passive passive is created from the earbuds which pretty much all the headphones neck band tws try to provide active noise cancellation on the other hand is rare and expensive it uses microphone to listen to the external sound and then makes an opposite sound by pushing the air in the other direction that opposite sound is added to the music coming through the earphones and then cancel the noise effectively So now that you know about the ANC as well as neck band you might have noticed a lot of company these days are making ANC neck band but a question that has to be asked is which one to buy well in this video we will be covering Mi neck band pro Realme wireless pro Zebronic Zepmon Edifer W330 Oppo Enco Q1 With that out of the way a quick shameless plug so we have recently started covering smartphone reviews and stuff and if you are into that why not show some love and check those videos out as well i will be leaving the playlist in the end of this video so be sure to check it out now let's begin okay so first one in our list is the mi neck band pro which is also the most cheapest one now what i like about them is the sleek and minimal design typically how xiaomi makes their product Here you get the three buttons like always the volume up volume down and power the power button also acts as a pause and play button and then there is an active noise cancellation or ANC button single press the ANC to turn it on and press it again to turn it off It also has a magnetic earbuds but unfortunately unlike Realme it doesn't pause the music Other than the sleek design what separates Mi neck band from the rest is the battery life. Yes, it offers 20 hours of battery life while all the others has a standard 10 to 12 hours. It also has IPX5 sweat proof so you can use it in the gym but not in the rain. One thing that I didn't like about this is the micro USB slot and not type C. So recently when I was out and about the battery on my Mi neck band pro died and I only had the MacBook type C charger with me and of course I wasn't able to charge the neck band but that's all right for the price. Now let's talk about the most important part the ANC and well the ANC on Mi neck band pro isn't that effective now i use airpods pro as my daily driver and the anc part there and in this one isn't comparable which is also understandable because of the price and i will be talking more about this in the end of this video also a lot of people often ask me if these are compatible with other computers and smartphones and yes the anc is built in the neck band so yeah it will work with any device Okay next up in the list we have the Zebronics Zebmonk now it has pretty much all the features just like any other neck band so i will only cover those that are different first of all i like the noise cancellation on this one slightly better that said this Zebronics neck band has a slight latency problem the audio doesn't match with the lips and while there's no way to show you on the video but i did notice it personally another issue i face is with the call quality so this ranks below everyone else when it comes to call quality on that note here is an audio sample from each of this neck band okay so this is the audio coming from the mi neck band pro the ac is on the fan is on and overall it's a pretty noisy environment and moving on to realme wireless pro again the same environmental condition the fan the ac everything running just as usual moving on to edifer w330 nb again same environmental condition the noise the fan the ac everything is same let me know what you think in the comment section below Moving on this is the audio coming from Zebronics Zebmonk as you can see the environmental conditions fan ac and everything pretty much the same and finally this is the audio coming from the Oppo Enco Q1 same surrounding same noise level and of course the ANC is also on now one thing to keep in mind here is whether you turn on the ANC or not the other party will have no significant impact on what they are listening remember the ANC is only in the earphones and not in the mic 
Up next, we have the Edifer 330NB, which is trying to offer a premium experience. And the keyword here is premium. What really stands out is that this comes in a big box. Interesting, because we are living in a world where smartphone boxes are becoming smaller. Either way, it also has a pouch in it, which I really like. But what I didn't like is the weight distribution. As you can see, these are quite bulky from the edges and I can feel their constant presence on my neck. Now, this could be a subjective thing. But what's not subjective is that this one has a serious connectivity issue. All the neckband in this list has a range of 10 meter and they all work fine. But in this one, the moment I go to the another room, the connection breaks. I wonder if this was the issue with my unit only, but the other reviews on Amazon confirmed the same. Overall, the ANC as well as connectivity on this one isn't that great and you can easily skip this one. Moving on to some serious business, next up we have the Realme Wireless Pro. Now, we have a dedicated video on that explaining all the features, so I will keep the description short and only talk about the features that makes it different from the rest. It's a bit expensive one in the list and that's the reason the build quality is high. And I also found the ANC on this one, which cuts off noise up to 35 decibel by the way, best compared to all the neckbands in this list. Of course, the key is best among all the five neckbands and not the best ANC overall. One thing that separate this from the rest is that it connects to two different devices at once. So say if you're on Windows and then you get a call, you can simply press the ANC button to switch. Super handy. Also, there's a Type-C port as well as fast charge. So if you're running late, you just have to charge these neckband for five minutes and it will last up to two hours. Although you get the same Type-C port as well as rapid charging in Oppo and GoQ that we will be covering soon. Overall, there are a few things that you should know if you're considering this one. And for that, click on the card to watch the entire review. And finally, we have the Oppo Enco Q. Now, this is the most high quality build in this list. But then again, it's the most expensive as well. The weight distribution in Oppo Enco Q is one of the best, which makes it sturdy as well as comfortable enough to stay on the neck for the entire day. Another thing that I like about this is the ear tips. They are quite comfortable for me. As you can see, it's a bit different from all the others. And I really like this design. But others might not like the fit as they tend to fall off the ear. Thankfully, it does comes with three extra ear tips, just like all the neckband in this list. There is also three listening modes. So whether you're listening to music, cinema or gaming, you will switch to them by double tapping the ANC button. But in my testing, this is something decent and you can do the same thing with equalizer apps as well. Now coming down to the active noise cancellation part, well that's also decent at best. Turn it on or off, the difference isn't much. And this brings us to an important question, how much would I rate the ANC on all of these neckband? And well, let's say if the ANC on my XM4 or AirPods Pro are 9 on a scale of 0 to 10, then the ANC on all of these neckband won't score more than 3 or 4. And I don't even blame them. You see, ANCs are usually available around 20,000 rupees or even more. And all of these neckband cost not more than 2,000 rupees. So you can't really expect anything serious. That said, the companies are using ANC here as a marketing gimmick since most of the users are trying these neckband for the first time. So they won't be able to tell any difference from the first experience. Overall, the point is, if your criteria is ANC alone, then you can skip all of them because none of them provide industry standard ANC. However, if you're looking for a decent pair of neckband with a slight touch of ANC, then these are worth considering. Out of which I would recommend the Xiaomi as well as Realme ones. They are quite good. Oppo is also good, but it's slightly more expensive for the features it offers. And Zebronix and Edifiers aren't worth recommending. So that's about it. Check out our smartphone playlist over here. And if you haven't checked out the 5G video, I highly recommend that one. Click here to check that out. That's about it. It's Minar signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.